Hello and welcome to my channel. Well, I finally picked up a K-Bar dozer. This one is in D2. And I have it over here just to compare it to the Elementum. This one's in S35VN, but they normally come in D2. And these are normally around like 50 bucks or so, the the D2 version. The S35VN is like 80 or so. All right. So this Dozier, I was just looking and Smokey had the sale where uh, it was on sale for $24.41. So about half the price. This is my uh, first look at a, at a Dozier. I've wanted one for a while, and when I saw that price, I said, ooh, i got to get it. Now, the only thing I've seen is on the tip of the blade here. You see these nicks? Focus on those nicks there, would you? See that nick? There's a nick there, and there's a nick there. Here a nick, there a nick, everywhere a nick, nick. Old McKay bar had a nick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so just on the end, I haven't sharpened it or anything. But overall, my initial first impressions are, this is pretty nice. Now, it has a stud that you can reverse, and it has a pocket clip. It's not deep carry, so you got about this much, you know, about an inch or so of your knife sticking out. But it's a back lock. And it really is a lot like uh, the Elementum in blade shape. Extend the sky full and you'll see how they... Very, very similar blade shapes. Almost identical cutting edge. And profile and everything else. The Elementum's got a little swedge up here. This one doesn't. But other than that, they're pretty damn close. We got a lanyard hole back here. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, I think this guy's lighter. We just we don't have any uh, liners in here, and on the elementum you have skeletonized skeletonized da, 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 liners. This one's a liner lock. No, this is a back lock. So, I want to check the check. Uh, Alright, so... It's made in Taiwan, which is not Ty uh, China yet. China would like to change that. So, yeah, these are pretty cool. I just got the blue one. They come in red and black and all different ones. It's a thumb roll type of thing. It's not anything lightning fast. Um... Like I said, it's got some dings in the top, but once you get past those, the rest of the blade's sharp. Just those little nicks. You can't really feel them when you're stabbing like that. But, yeah. Finally got one. This was pretty cool. So, yeah, it's a nice little work knife. And you can't beat the price, man. 25 bucks. Now... With shipping and everything, I think it came out... I mean, with tax and all that, it came out to like $30. But still... See, $24, then shipping and handling. That's not bad, though. $4 for shipping. And then tax, of course. So, $30.75. And, uh, like I said, this guy was like 80 something But it's got S35... Vulcanized. Let's see if you can focus on that. Can you see it? Is it on this side? Or is it on this side? There it is. They like hiding this stuff, man. It's, there it is. S35 of the N or Vulcan Nation. I think it's for vanadium or something like that. Anyways. Maybe nitro, nitrogen in there. <laughs> right, so yeah. This guy's a little bit lighter, I would say. Alright, we're going to have to find out. Uh-oh, he revealed the other stuff. Yeah, these 
three stickers came with it. The uh, the knives, this one, and then the smoky one. So this was going to be my uh, ten knives for 2021. Just to comment on two of each, you know, like Case, Marbles, Joker, and Rough Rider. But that's a future video. Right now, we need to pull that away. And get down in here to the base level. And put our weighing device out and turn it on. Make sure it's on a semi-level surface. All right, level yourself. Don't fall down. This is the uh, special Blade HQ sticker that I got. It's like the um, Christmas story, but instead of a lady leg, it's a knife. It looks like a... Might be a buck 110 automatic. All right, we'll turn power on. I'd say this guy is like two ounces lighter. Maybe, maybe an ounce lighter than the other one. All right, what do we got? 2.3, 2.6. Oh, you were so far off. It's not that big of a difference. All right, let's go to grammages. That's grains, grammages. All right, seventy-five point eight seven, sixty-five. So it's like ten grams lighter. Feels a lot lighter than that, though. I don't know why. I don't. I don't know why. All right, let's get all these guys up here without <laughs> dropping it. Can we do it? Yes. All right. So there you go. There's a K-Bar Dozier. It's a roll-out type of knife. Not a not a super flippy. But it's a good size. It's a good design. Um, would be a good work knife. Inexpensive budget work knife. Like I said, this guy's grippy. Feels kind of plasticky, but I think it's FRN or something like that. Thank you for watching. Oh, yeah, Swiss. We need to show the... This is a package that came in. This is back, back here. Oh, a handle material Zytel. Thumb stud, tip up carry, lock back, reversible pocket clip. Authenticated by leading outdoorsman survivalist. Uninformed, no, uniformed professionals and military experts in the U.S. Right. Homer. Homer Street. Warning. Reproductive cancer. Warning harm. <laughs> Please get a hold of your reproductive organs. It could cause harm. Alright. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.